Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about enzymes. Now, what enzymes are, is they're an example of these things called biological catalysts. What a catalyst is, is something which speeds up the rate of reaction without being used up itself. And all biological means is it occurs and we find these in living things. So, an enzyme, I'm just going to draw a simplistic example of one here. An enzyme has got a structure that we need to know a little bit about. There's a particular place on the enzyme which is called the active site. This part of the enzyme is where our substrate molecule attaches. So as we can see here, the shapes kind of, this fits into the active site. So the substrate fits into this active site on the enzyme. We could say this is why it's called the lock and key theory. The lock and key theory because um, the substrate acts a little bit like a key and the active site acts a little bit like a lock. So they're really specific. So the, the, uh, the active site is very specific and it can't fit in any substrate. If we had a different substrate with a different shape, we could see that this substrate would not fit into this active site. Um, so that's why it's called the lock and key theory. Now, enzymes can also um, undergo changes. So if, for example, we heat up this enzyme, we heat it up and it gets far too hot, it can actually denature. Now, what denaturing is, is when it gets so hot that the shape of the active site has changed. So we can see this is meant to be the exact same enzyme, but this time the active site has changed shape. Just to remind you, that process is called denaturing. Now, if we have the same substrate that it used to break down before, we can see that this substrate no longer fits into this active site. So therefore, our rate of reaction is going to decrease because this enzyme can no longer break down this substrate. Um, so enzymes in the body work best at around 37 degrees C because um, that's, that's the body temperature. If it gets too hot, so let's say we've heated this one up to around 50 degrees C, that's when it will start to denature and we will no longer be able to break down this substrate here. So that's basically what enzymes do. They speed up chemical reactions without being used up. We find them in living things. A classic example is in digestion, so in breaking down your food. The substrate molecules fit into the active site which is highly specific, so it only fits in one type of substrate. And if we heat them up too much, they denature and they no longer fit the substrate into the active site. That's the basics of enzymes.